Hey everybody, this is Josh and I'm playing uh, Genshin Impact. Uh, it's a new free to play game that a lot of people are talking about. Uh, it's been called kind of a Zelda clone, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, you can kind of see that from the setting and the uh, background, but I don't really get that sense once you get to start playing. So far I see kind of like Fire Emblem in terms of like character types and um, Xenoblade Chronicles. I think there's a little bit of that there, but anyway, I'm about to start my first temple exploration here. Um, I've unlocked three characters. You get a party of four, but you have to build it up as you play. Um, so I'll just go in here real quick and show you my characters. This is the starter character. Got her up to level eight. It's not. It's really easy to level up early on in the game so far. Um, this is the first character, Amber, that you meet along the way. She uh, has like a fire power, uses a bow and arrow. And um, this is a character I just won. Um, has kind of like a lottery system where you can like wish and you get weapons and um, characters. So this was the character I got. I haven't used her yet, Noel. Uh, she has Geo power and the starter power has, uh, the starter character has a wind power. So um, yeah, let's go see what happens here. The Knights of Favonius have been mobilized to contain Storm Terror. Storm Terror is a dragon. A destructive Rampage. Venture forth with Amber the Outrider to the Temple of the Falcon. And stop T Storm Terror from gaining the power within. So, go ahead and start this. My party. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Excuse me. So the game's pretty enjoyable so far. I'm still on like the prologue level. Um, I thought this would be a kind of a good place to start in terms of like showing a preview of the game. Um, okay, I wasn't expecting this kind of a background. You can use that console to open the door. I can switch between characters wow, as I'm so moving around. The temple. Lots of chests around. You can get money and uh, different equipment. Amy is very sensitive in this game. I might have to figure out if I can adjust that. So I want to see what I just got. If there's anything I can equip.
I'm gonna leave everything as is at the moment. I feel like right. Maybe the game doesn't do a great job of kind of explaining everything you're supposed to do. I've had some trouble understanding some of this. This is one of them, but oh well. So this is a special power she has where she throws out this little doll and it explodes. This is another, these enemies are um, very similar to Zelda Breath of the Wild enemies. So that's uh, another criticism this game has got, but overall it's been received very well. And I mean, it's a beautiful looking game for something that's free. Um, There's cooking in this game. I know that because I just did it a moment ago. Before I started this video. You get some kind of um, Uh, monetary uh, reward for reading these little tutorials. over there well one shot should be able to blow them up
Combat's pretty easy. I mean, you don't have to remember a lot of different combos or anything. With Amber, you just have to like kind of hold down L2 to aim and R2 to fire. Man, the voice you just heard is like a, a tiny character that is friends with the main character. It's kind of annoying, Pyman. So. Any secrets here that I can? Get ready for the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Dragon Is that where the power is coming from? Great! Let's smash it. Didn't look like there was anything. Phew! I'm tired. But at least this way we've helped Jean out. In the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself, the winds change, so too should our tactics. It's what Lisa likes to say. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier, if you want to learn more about our history, you can ask Lisa. I'm not saying I don't know our history. It's just... I mean, a librarian is supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider. Right? Let's see what the reward is. So I got some experienced scroll basically. I've been saving the experienced scrolls just because I don't know like what characters I'll be unlocking and when and that way I can just kind of keep everybody leveled off the same way. Cooking is basically just a really easy mini game. You just have to kind of like press a button at the right spot. So I think I like this game. Um, it's free, I can't complain not boring um, change into Noel here and Noel and see if I can kind of try her out as I head towards this other temple Another Zelda like. Leave it all to me. Enemy. Ruin. 
have no idea where that thing went. These are like different resources you can use for cooking. To attack that thing and try out her combat more, but... Get over this way because there's some goblins. She moves very slow compared to the others, I feel. thing about this game, unlike Breath of the Wild, is your weapons don't break. Looks like I have to So I think she just used her tornado ability thing there and it blended with Amber's fire attack so that was kind of cool. I don't know how to get that um, the ore there. So we got a couple new artifacts. Watch. And let's see what this thing does here. So the main story of this game is uh, this character has lost her brother. Uh, they're twin. Whoa, they are twins, and oh, that was easy. So she has a twin brother and a god captured him and then sent her to this land. 
So she's trying to figure out where her brother is. So I don't know what that thing is either, so I'll just leave it for now. I'm off track here. I love just how cartoonish this game looks like it could really be um, something you watch on TV. I've been here already I think but we'll go see what happened. Right. happened. Yeah. Not much there. She's got a very powerful weapon that I got out of that lottery thing. Um, and then was all able to upgrade to like level 10. Sometimes you find chests hidden, hidden inside these big boxes, so it's, it's always worth checking out and see what's inside them, if anything. is called the debate club which is awesome cook anything here or cook a chicken mushroom skewer so that's basically all you have to do for the cooking mushroom.
going that well. Just go with clobbering them. It appears that rain has no effect on the debate club. The debate club wasn't her starting weapon. It was something I won. thing is over here. Oops. Takes a while to level up, level up there. Special skills. this one. So I like that you'll have to be switching back and forth between characters instead of just excuse me instead of just maining one throughout the entire game. So what's this here? This is a bit further than I was supposed to go. Actually, way off track, but I want to try one more thing here first. This is how you get free stuff in this game. So, I don't know what I just did there. I'm going to see if. I can get anything here. And I can't. I'm short of money. So, oh well. So this has been Genshin Impact. Uh, it's free. It can't hurt to check it out. I don't hate it. 
I'm not sure if I'm as into it as everybody else is, but it's still early in the game, so thanks for watching.